Hi, my name is Michelle Pekansky Brock, and I'm here to share some student survey results with you from a flipped classroom experiment that I conducted back in spring of 2009. First, just a little bit of information for you about the course itself. The class was uh, taught at a large public community college and I was the instructor and there was no instructional design or technology support available within the institution. It was an art history class. The class size was 40 and it was a very diverse student group, particularly the levels of the students. So I had students at a very introductory level who had never taken an art history class and others who were art history majors. Uh, there were also um, students in the class with learning disabilities and um, all of that of course played a big role in um, the way that the course was taught. So a little bit more about my students in the class. Um, I surveyed them at the end of the term at an end of a 16 week semester and I had 27 respondents which was a 77 response percent response rate and as you can see it was a very young class 81 percent of the students identified as being under the age of 24. I did a little measuring of uh, the effect of the experiment on retention and success and um, this was really exciting. I compared the retention and success rates from the last time I taught the class uh, using a traditional lecture method. So the blue represents the traditional lecture method and the green is the flipped model. And you'll see that success increased from 67 to 74 percent and retention increased from 83 to 90 percent. When I asked the students to describe the quality of their overall learning experience, 97% uh, of them said it was very successful or mostly successful. And all of the students who responded strongly agreed or agreed that the instructor used technology to support their learning. 86% of them strongly agreed or agreed that the amount of technology used in the class was manageable. And um, this is something I should elaborate on a little bit. The traditional flipped classroom uh, model or concept is based on taking lecture content and developing it as uh, videos. So in my classes, the students did have mobile video lectures um, that I had recorded specifically for the course. Um, I did not use a lecture capture tool. I used a screencasting um, tool. But when I shared the lectures with the students, I also provided the same content in a PDF format. So the students did not have to listen to the lecture. They actually had the choice to do one or the other. And so one of the things I was particularly interested in is understanding how this option played a role in their learning and whether or not they even needed the option or valued the option. So. Um, here you can see that 93% uh, of the students strongly agreed or agreed that that option really helped them learn. And when given the option to read or listen to the lecture, which option did you choose? This is something that I found very, very interesting. I think one of my favorite parts of this um, entire experiment actually. 40% of the students read, 15% chose to exclusively listen, 30% said they did both. And what that means is that they read and listened at the same time. 15% toggled between the two throughout the semester. Um, and this was really significant. And actually these numbers really kind of mirror what I found in my online classes because I taught my online classes the same way. Uh, well, I should say using the same type of lecture material and when I assessed those students, I got very similar results. So there's a few takeaways here. Number one, the variety, just really how diverse um, the preferences are when you leave it up to the students to decide how they want to learn or how they can learn. But the second thing I take away from that is that only 15% of the students chose to listen. And when I, you know, take a few steps back from what we're talking about and look at college overall, students in college today generally don't have any other option but to listen. When you're in a classroom, you're listening to 
an instructor speaking and you're feverishly trying to take notes and write down what he or she is saying. Um, and so that I find compelling, that it is um, the least preferred method when students are given a choice. And I asked them why they chose this lecture format um, and most of the students chose Meets My Learning Style. Also all of the students strongly agreed or agreed that the variety of learning materials played a role in helping them meet the course learning objectives. And this is something um, that I found to be very interesting. I'm sorry I'm missing some of the terms at the bottom there. Um, but actually in a conversation with one of my students I heard her say that she actually learned how to learn in this class and that was something that I thought was really compelling and powerful and so I wanted to find out from the rest of my students how they felt about that too and so you can see those results here I was also really curious to understand how much time this model was going to take students and um, so I, I asked them to agree with this statement. I spent more time on out-of-class assignments in this class than I would in a traditional lecture class. And you can see here that 81% um, of the students strongly agreed or agreed with that statement. However, still overall very positive feedback about the class. By completing the lectures outside of the classroom, the time we spent in class was more relevant to my own learning. 81% again strongly agreed or agreed. And I invite you all to listen to an 18 minute interview that I recorded uh, between me and three of my students at the end of this semester in spring 2009. Um, this, there were three student volunteers who came and sat down with me in my office and um, we just talked about the semester and they had some really compelling thoughts to share. So if this interests you in any way and you want to learn a little bit more, I invite you to um, go to the link on the screen here and listen to the interview.